Hello everyone. Today we are going to study about digestive system. First, we will understand what is digestion. Digestion is a process of conversion of complex food substance into simple absorbable form. Digestion is carried out by mechanical and biomechanical methods. Human digestive system consists of elementary canal and associated glands. Elementary canal consists of mouth, esophagus, stomach, small intestine and large intestine. Mouth is the entry point of the food. It is the first part of digestive system. Mouth comprises of teeth and salivary glands. Teeth helps to crush, grind and tear the food. Whereas the salivary gland secretes saliva which helps to moisten the food. This food is traveled down to esophagus. Esophagus is a tube connecting from mouth to stomach running through thoracic cavity. Food travels down the esophagus through a series of involuntary rhythmic contractions called peristalsis. These peristalsis are wave-like movements. The food is then passed through stomach via esophageal sphincter. Stomach is a J-shaped organ located at upper left portion of abdominal cavity. It consists of fundus, cardiac, pyloric and super portion of duodenum. Stomach performs digestion by churning the bolus and mixing it with gastric juices that is secreted by lining of the stomach. These gastric juices are pepsin, hydrochloric acid and gastric lipase. Food is then passed to small intestine through pyloric sphincter. Small, uh, small intestine is distinguishable into three regions, C-shaped duodenum, long coiled jejunum and highly coiled ileum. Small intestine is responsible for complete digestion of micromolecules and absorption of their component molecule. The nutrients are absorbed by inner wall of small intestine into the bloodstream. The undigested and unabsorbed substance are passed on to large intestine. Large intestine consists of cecum, colon and rectum. Colon has four phases, ascending colon, transverse colon, descending colon and sigmoid colon. The function of large intestine includes absorption of some water and minerals. Large intestine also secrete mucus which helps in adhering the waste particles together and lubricating for an easy passage. The undigested and unabsorbed substance called fecus are temporarily stored in rectum till defecation through anus. Next are associated glands. These are the organs or glands which help in digestion process but are not part of digestive tract. These organs secrete fluids into digestive tract and connected ducts. Accessory glands include liver, gallbladder and pancreas. Liver produces bile and gallbladder stores the bile. Bile helps in the absorption of fats. Pancreas secretes uh, enzymes into the small intestine and neutralizes the hydrochloric acid from the stomach. Let's recap. Digestion is a process of conversion of complex food substance into simple absorbable forms. The human digestive system consists of elementary canal and associated glands. The elementary canal consists of mouth, esophagus, stomach, small intestine and large intestine. Accessory organs are those organs which help in digestion process but are not part of digestive tract. This organ secrete digestive fluid into the connecting duct and digestive tract. It includes liver, gallbladder and pancreas. Hope this is clear for everyone. Thanks for watching.